A continuación presentamos el devocional diario por el pastor José Manuel Sierra y traducido al inglés. En español se emite de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias y queda grabado en nuestros canales de Facebook y YouTube. Debajo en la descripción de este vídeo encontrará el enlace para los devocionales en español. Good morning, my dear brethren and friends. Today I'm going to be sharing with you today's devotional with the famous Golden Gate Bridge behind me in the city of San Francisco. The devotional is going to be based in Psalm 138 and the first three verses read the following. I will praise you with all my heart. Before the gods, I will sing praises to you. I will worship toward your holy temple and praise your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your name. In the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold with the strength in my soul. Yeah, what you know, we see this, the words in the midst of the gods. I will sing praises. Is there, uh, is there anything that says that there is uh, more than one God? Is, aren't you saying that there is only one God and you have to worship that? Of course it is. There is one God, the only true living God. But, however, there is a term, Elohim, and it's a, poly, uh, a, a plural term, which can be translated as gods, although the only living God. But there is a term in the Bible that is the term Elohim, and it's a plural term that can be translated by the word gods. Although Elohim is one of the names that is applied or assigned to our God, a term that, by the way, is in plural. When the Bible says you will have no other gods before me, is the word Elohim. Therefore, it's not that there are different gods and the true living God, but when they're talking about false images and false gods, they're talking about the same term. Having said that, the psalmist refers to that only true living God that knows perfectly well and with whom he relates with us. He knows him and he has a communion with him like we should have it with a God, a personal relationship with that God. Many times we have said that the people, what they have is a religion that has nothing to do with a relationship. To have a relationship with God, you have to know him. You don't have to uh, a relationship with God with about anybody, but just with people that you have been introduced to. And that is what happens to each one of us. One day they spoke to us, they introduced us to God that was unknown to many of us with whom we fell in love with. That God that loved us so much, they sent his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. That God that loves us, that God that understands us, God has promised to be with us every day until the end of the age. That God that has made himself known through his creation, that God that in the word, in the Bible, we have to know him, with whom we have and must have an intimate relationship, a personal one with him. The question is, do you know God? What place does God occupy in your life? Maybe some say, I believed in him. But they were disillusioned, disappointed by some believers, some pastor or someone, and they stopped believing in God. When you know him and you have him in the deepest part of your heart, regardless of how other people treat you, what they say to you or, or don't say or they do to you, good or bad, you have to be above all those things. Because in the end, we have not given our lives to them. We have not put the hands of men of the church, of a pastor, of a denomination. But we have put our hands in a powerful God and, po and faithful God that is with us every day, that he knows perfectly well our needs, he understands, and he wants to help us in each and every one of the areas of our lives. I speak about that God, the living God, full of love, of power, of authority, that can change your negative circumstances and can give you joy, in any moment in which you find yourself in. In that God is the Bible speaking about. 
the God that made himself known in many ways and forms, but through his beloved son Jesus, we can have and we must have a, a relationship with him. And when you have that relationship that is personal and direct with him, then you will realize that you do not need anyone or anything else because he's going to fill all the gaps, all the corners of your soul and your life. And you will be able to live in peace regardless of your emotions and your feelings. He's going to fill that gap he, that every human being has in their heart. And you will realize that it is worth to make an effort to honor him, to serve him. And you will end up loving him with all your heart because you will realize that he is the only way, the only truth, and the only life and cause for which he deserves to give his life. That is why the psalmist praised and glorified God, because he knew him. In spite of the struggles and difficulties he went through, God was always by his side. So I would like for us to pray this morning to this God, to put our lives and trust in him. And we ask him, Lord, keep us, deliver us from all danger and all evil, that every day we can serve you better, honor and love you with all our hearts and with all our soul. Father in heaven, thank you for this privilege that you give us to start a new day with you. I ask you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, your blessing, that you will keep us and free us from all danger and all evil. And thank you for your faithfulness, for your love, for being who you are with us, to under, for understanding us, for helping us, and showing us every day your power. We put our lives in your hands, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. My dear brethren, may the Lord bless you. We are here in San Francisco having a great time with our brothers and sisters uh, celebrating the first anniversary of the Centro Evangelico Vida Nueva in the San Francisco Bay with our brethren. May the Lord bless you. I send greetings to all of you, and I hope that you have a weekend that is blessed. We will try to record everything we can to uh, broadcast the blessing, and we continue moving forward, honoring and serving our good God. May the Lord bless you. <laughs>